Hey everybody, Ashton here again with 10 Cents with another fragrance review. Today we're taking a look at a fragrance from the house of Amouage Myths Man. This was sent to me for review by Euro Perfumes. I'll leave a link in the description to their website. If you use the code 15GS on their website, it will give you 15% off of your purchase. They also have uh, free shipping for basically anything because it's such a low threshold for free shipping. That code works on any purchase except for sample purchases. So we're gonna go ahead and check out the presentation on this one like usual. Right after that, we'll get into the fragrance itself. All right, let's go ahead and check out the presentation. If you're familiar with the wash fragrances, then you pretty much know what to expect here. The Myths box looks fantastic. I really, really like the way it looks. This is paper all the way around. The Amouage crest is raised, which you can see there a little bit. You have the name of the house and fragrance. At the top, Eau de Parfum Man. On the bottom, ingredient information and your batch code here in the corner. These are a little tough to open sometimes. The bottle sits down like so. Now, I'm going to uh, make everybody aware of this. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. When you buy these, you have to be very careful when you first open the box up because the bottle will come loose in transit a lot of times. Then when you lift up, the bottle will go flying. So open it very carefully at first. The bottle looks very cool. You have a dark purple to light purple gradient here on the front, or actually all around the bottle, actually. Nothing on the back. It says myths on the side here. You have a purple jewel here, myths on the neck of the bottle here. It is a uh, magnetic cap like all amouages now. And the batch code is actually printed on the bottom of the bottle right here. It's hard to see, but it's there. That is the presentation for Amouage Myths Man. It is a fantastic presentation. I'm also gonna be giving away a decant of this, and this is actually a very famous decant. A long time ago, uh, were actually a few months ago, six months ago, oh, whatever. Bottom Note, which is another fragrance reviewer on YouTube, did a review of Myths Man and gave away a decant. The decant that I will be giving away is the same decant that I got from Bottom Note. So two YouTube fragrance reviewers have held and used this decant. I believe it's about four mils worth. Um, so if you want to be entered for that, Wait until the end of the video, I'll tell you how to do so, and if you are the winner, you too can have a piece of YouTube fragrance history. Now I'm not wearing anything at this point, so let me go ahead and spray this on myself so you can see how the atomizer works here. It's okay, it's like pretty much all on washes. Let's go ahead and give this one a big whiff. So when I first experienced this fragrance, I did not like it at all. I thought it came across completely unwearable. Um, it just didn't really strike my fancy. It wasn't something I really enjoyed. The opening on this is challenging, and that's to say the least. There's powdery ash, it's very dry, there's orris, chrysanthemum. Uh, it gives kind of a, a very dry ash and dark leather feel with light floral aspects, if you can kind of piece that all together in your mind. It's complex, it wouldn't be pleasing to most people. Um, so people that are into designer fragrances or just in the game to smell good, probably will not be pleasing to them uh, at all. And if you're the type of person that's into fragrances like that exclusively, then this is not going to really be for you. It smells vaguely of urinal cakes. Uh, it doesn't smell exactly like it, but you can definitely pick out the similarity in the opening. And even with myself and reading reviews for this online, this is a fragrance that kind of can change your mind on how you perceive it as the wearing goes on or as you wear it multiple times. It's kind of a hate, love, hate fragrance where um, you will dislike it at first and the more you wear it, you'll come to appreciate it. And then maybe parts of the fragrance as it progresses on, you won't like or you will grow to like. So it's not something that you spray on and it's just immediately one of those, oh, I love this fragrance. It's kind of one that you have to grow into and some people uh, grow into enjoying parts of the fragrance. 
Some people will just hate it for the entirety. Some people flip flop and might like it one day and hate it the next. An hour in, a good amount of that harshness is gone from the opening. LME starts to come in and you get this peppery undertone that goes along with the other notes from the beginning. Uh, it's still a little off-putting, but it's very unique. For me, the main thing that I pull from the fragrance, uh, the main thing that lasts from the opening to the mid to the dry down, is that ashy leather scent, that ashy leather feeling. That's the dominant thing that I get from this. Uh, and it's a very dry ash. It's like something uh, that was burned a long time ago and just left and sat there with no moisture whatsoever. It's a very, very dry ash note. This can really only be worn in very certain circumstances, or at least to me. Uh, it's something that can't be worn casually. Um, you could pull it off formally. That would really be about the only time that I could see it worn, but don't go heavy on the trigger because this one, again, is potentially off-putting to those around you. And if you're going to wear this, it's one of those fragrances that you have to wear with utmost confidence. You can't waver at all. You have to really believe that you smell fantastic to pull this off because if you're wavering and you think that you don't really smell very good, it's a recipe for disaster. This also would be best worn in chilly weather. So cool to cold. I would not wear this at all in warm weather. Uh, definitely not in summer. It is not the type of fragrance that you can pull off in weather like that. And age-wise, this is going to be for those middle-aged and up. I cannot see a young person pulling this one off. I guess it's technically possible, but it's not at all the type of fragrance that you would think uh, for somebody 30 years and younger. Overall, I don't hate the fragrance as much as it's sounding like I do. As far as Amouage goes, it's not going to make my top 10 Amouages, uh, but it's very unique and it has a place because of that. It's one of those fragrances that is more artistic than it is really wearable. The presentation looks fantastic. Um, it's one of the better looking homage bottles uh, and boxes, if not the best. I mean, it's, it's definitely uh, top three in terms of presentation, uh, but the fragrance itself, I just don't know exactly when I would be able to wear it, how I'd be able to pull it off. Um, in the house of homage, there are other fragrances that you can wear much, much easier, whether we're talking spring, summer, fall, winter, so this one just doesn't really slot in anywhere at the price that you would have to pay for it. Um, so basically it's best for those that are huge homage fans or people that are into more artistic fragrances and don't really give a crap if the people around them are going to think that they smell uh, fantastic or not. If you're interested in the decant of Myths Man, just let me know in the comments section what your most and least favorite homage fragrances are. I'll pick the winner like I have on the previous videos just by random comment picker. Um, like usual, only make one comment. Don't make multiple comments trying to enter multiple times. It will disqualify you. And let me know in the comment if you are interested in the decant or not. I mean, if you're not interested, that's fine. Just let me know in the comment. All right, guys, that's my review for Amouage Myths Man. Presentation is freaking fantastic. Fragrance itself, very unique. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.